fledged spring until like May. <laughs> Let me show you guys actually what supplements I do take. Cinnamon. everyone today is wednesday and today is day three of the keto chow challenge and i'm starting my day off actually with some coffee it's almost 11 o'clock so i have done i think it's a 17 hour fast i did set my fast on my zero fast app that i have on my phone and um, highly recommend you guys download that it really really helps keeping track on when your fast is done whether you're doing 16 18 hours or even longer um, but I decided that I would start with some coffee this morning. I haven't been having coffee um, the first two days, actually. Um, I had an absolutely horrible headache last night. I had mentioned in my previous video, I will actually link that video here. It is day one and day two of the Keto Chow Challenge. But halfway through day two, you guys, I had a headache that would not go away. It actually continued on for the rest of the evening and I even had trouble falling asleep because it was so bad. So I ended up taking some headache pills. I actually took two headache pills. So um, anything that you guys eat or drink the night before will affect your weight and it does cause some weight gain when you do take um, ibuprofen or Advil or whatever. Um, and so I was up 0.2 on the scale today. So. But that's all right. I know it's just water weight, but I needed to take them, you guys. My headache was so bad. I couldn't believe how bad it was. Like for me not to even fall asleep was absolutely crazy. And we are going through like a Chinook right now in Southern Alberta. So it's really, really nice. It's like plus 10 degrees and it's super, super nice. And it's just kind of a big change. And sometimes that pressure, um, temperature change pressure, will affect me and have a mild headache. Luckily, I don't get any migraines. It could be a number of things as well too. It could just be me with the keto flu and just detoxing from the sugar and the carbs because that does happen. So I am going to make sure I, I do take my supplements as Let well. Let me show you guys actually what supplements I do take. One second. All right, so what I do is I actually have one of these containers that I put all of my vitamins in and I do take a couple pills as well right now. Um, for those that have been here a while, you guys know that I do have IBS and I do take one pill for that. I take the Constella pill and that has helped me absolutely tremendously. And right now I have low iron. Um, I'm just about to go get blood work here in the next couple weeks, but my doctor has put me on iron pills. So I am taking that every other day as well. But for the vitamins that I take every day, I take a multivitamin. These are the gummies that I take every day. They haven't affect me in ketosis or my blood sugar or anything like that. And I take this for my nail, hair, and skin. And then for my vitamins, I take turmeric, which has actually helped me quite a bit. Sometimes I do get like, it feels like I have sore bones. Does that make sense, you guys? But um, this really helps a lot with that. And then of course, for which is very, very important on keto, you guys, make sure that you're taking your magnesium and your potassium. So this is the magnesium that I take. I take one a day. And this is the potassium that I take once a day as well. And I usually also take a vitamin D, but I'm all out of those right now. So that is what I take for vitamins, you guys. I encourage you guys to make sure that you're taking all your vitamins. It's very important on keto. Um, and especially if you're just starting keto, it's very important so you don't get that keto flu. Keep your electrolytes so keep your electrolytes up so that you're feeling really, really good. Today I actually feel like amazing. So this is day three. So maybe it was just kind of like starting to get in ketosis. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I feel really, really good today. So I think what I'm going to do, because today is Wednesday, I'm going to take my blood ketones um, tomorrow morning when I wake up and see if I'm in ketosis because I do feel really good today. Um, it usually takes me three or four days, but it all depends. Everybody's different. And I was having like more carbs than normal, right? So it could take me a while longer to get into ketosis. But either way, I'm feeling really, really good today. 
So I'm gonna finish my coffee. I do work today from two until 8.30. So I'm gonna have one of my shakes on the way to work because I do drive into a major city, which is 20 minutes away to go to work. So I'm gonna drink that on my way in and then I'll take my other shake with me to put in the fridge at work and I will have that on my supper break. So feeling really good, you guys. And like I said, just the headache last night was was unbearable but I got through it at least I didn't wake up with the headache again but just so you guys know that's totally normal don't feel like you're getting sick from doing keto I know a lot of people that struggle you know day two till five just because they are feeling so crappy and they have such a headache and they're dizzy and all of these things don't stop make sure you're taking your electrolytes that's very important and it's just getting rid of all of those carbs, sugar cravings, and everything out of your system, and getting your blood sugar level down where it should be. And that's why you're feeling that. It's only temporary, so make sure you stick through. Stick with it, you guys. And I guarantee you by like day five, day six, once you're over that hump, you will feel absolutely on top of the world. And I'm not joking, like you feel absolutely amazing. And those cravings are gone and the water weight, the inflammation, the bloating, everything is gone and you feel amazing. So anyways, you guys, I am going to finish my coffee and finish getting ready for work and I will catch up with you probably when I have my second meal, maybe on my supper break once I get to work. So we'll see you guys soon. All right, you guys, I am home from work. It is a little after nine o'clock. Sorry, I didn't record my supper when I had it on my lunch break, um, but I did have both of my shakes. The first one I had on my way into town, which was around a, one o'clock, and then my second one I had on my supper break, which was around five, 5.30. So I had both the shakes today. I am feeling really good tonight. I don't have a headache at all, so yeah just feeling really really good actually so i'm probably gonna head to bed here in about an hour i am just actually making my keto chow for tomorrow tomorrow will be day four you guys so i will make sure that i record my weigh in and i will see you guys in the morning let's take our ketones this morning you guys i haven't taken my ketones in so long so I use the Keto Mojo. I still have their old one. Um, I've had this one actually probably for a while. I wanna say since last September probably. But um, I really, really like it actually. And I'll probably get their new one um, once more becomes in stock. Um, I will have it, I actually, I always have it linked down below where I get mine from, um, because here in Canada, it's really hard. I don't even know if they ship actually to Canada, but um, I go through a different website in Canada in order to order it, and it's not too badly priced, to be honest. So let's see what my ketones are at first, you guys. 0.7, so that's a good sign, we'll see. Now, a lot of people go by just that number of your blood ketone. And I'm telling you guys right now, that's not the way to tell if you're in ketosis. Pretty good idea because more than likely your blood sugar is always low um, unless you're having like a lot of sugar alcohols and such. Um, but the true way to tell is to test your blood glucose as well and then figure out the GKI. All right, let's take test our blood glucose, you guys. 87. So I think I'm in ketosis. I think it's low ketosis, but let me see with the GKI number and let you guys know in one second. Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday and it is day four of the Keto Chow Challenge, you guys. Wow, I feel so good today. Um, I, can, I can feel that I'm in ketosis actually because I got a really good sleep last night even though I had a headache last night um, or not last night the night before yeah the night before I had a s severe headache like went to bed with a headache it kept me up finally took some pills um, but I had a really good sleep that night and last night I had another good night's sleep I slept all the way through so being that said sleeping better sleeping all the way through the night and waking up with energy like wake up get out of bed right away and get ready for the day i feel so good today 
So I feel like I'm in ketosis. We are going to take my blood ketones and I will tell you the GKI. Just remember when you're doing your ketones to check that you're in ketosis. I did do the urine strips when I started. Those are unreliable, you guys. I hate to say it. They're really inexpensive and they do give you a pretty good gauge, I must say. But even if you're drinking too much water, it'll say that you're not in ketosis. So just be careful of that. Um, I did spend the money and got a Keto Mojo, which I absolutely love. I don't use it every day, but I do use it like right now to make sure that I'm in ketosis or um, like if I'm testing out foods to see if it causes inflammation or anything like that or kicks me out of ketosis with sugar alcohols, um, I test it, I test my blood ketones for that. So with that, you're testing your blood ketones and you're checking your blood glucose. With those two numbers, you will get the GKI. And I look up mine in the Keto Mojo app to let me know um, what my GKI is and that will tell you if you're in ketosis. So I feel really, really good. Um, I'm actually not hungry, so that's another sign that I'm in ketosis. So the hunger, the cravings are gone, and today is day four. So that's pretty good because I know that I haven't been in ketosis for a long time. I would say probably like the month of February, I probably wasn't in ketosis. Maybe the first week off and on, I haven't even checked it in over a month. But I feel really, really good. So with this challenge, you guys, this is an encouragement to you guys showing how I was day one and even how I looked and felt compared to day four. Feels so much better. And making sure you're taking your vitamins. It's really, really important. I've mentioned that before. So I had a coffee yesterday um, to break my fast. And I'm going to do the same today. I actually just made it. Um, I make my coffee the same same way as I was doing before except I don't have collagen right now. I'm waiting for my order from Perfect Keto and to get my collagen, I ordered the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which I'm excited to try. And I ordered chocolate this time. And last time I had um, caramel. So I'm excited. I should be getting those hopefully today or tomorrow, um, but I'm excited to try the new flavor. But I just make my coffee with instant coffee. I've been on an instant coffee kick right now, you guys. And I made it with heavy whipping cream and two sweeteners and a shot of vanilla um, skinny syrup. Skinny syrup. Um, and that's my favorite way to have coffee. I usually have a half of a scoop of collagen in there as well, powdered collagen from Perfect Keto. Um, I love their stuff. I'm not affiliated with Perfect Keto at all, but I absolutely love their collagen. I haven't tried anything else because their cookies and their bars have nuts in it and I'm allergic to all nuts, but their collagen, I'm telling you, it is worth the money. It is well worth the money. And I use a half a scoop just so that it lasts me longer because it is fairly expensive. I always have that link down in the description box as well to where I get my collagen. I usually order it off of Amazon. Um, but this time I did order it off of Perfect Keto and I used um, Keto in the Chaos, their, her code. I think it saved me 10 or 15% and it actually worked out to be cheaper um, than ordering within Canada. I ordered straight from their website. website. So I will have that um, link down below as well too for the Perfect Keto um, website and then also further down below I always have it where I get it from when I order it off of Amazon so have a look you guys see if you can budget it in I know it is expensive but I'm telling you it's well well worth it okay so I am off to work you guys I am working today from 9 until 5 I took my one shake with me I'm taking my coffee with me because looking on my zero fast app I am able to break my fast at 11 30. So I'm going to have my coffee at 11.30 and then I'm going to have my shake probably around 1 again. And then when I came ho come home at 5, 5.30, that's when I'll be having my last shake. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Hopefully I can re remember to record a little clip when I'm at work having my keto chow for my first meal. We'll see you guys then. All right, guys. So I got my keto perfect keto collagen in today. So I got the new flavor, which is the cinnamon toast and I've gotten the chocolate before. It's pretty good, I make a mocha out of it, so I really like the chocolate as well. So, finally got these in the mail, which is awesome, because I will be able to add my half a scoop actually to my coffee that I brought with me to work, so that is awesome.
also wanted to tell you guys um, my weight today. So I weighed in today and I was 145.8. So I'm so happy about that. It's still, the scale is still going down, which I'm excited about. Even if I even get into the 130s after this challenge, I know it might not stay in the 130s once I start implementing like meals again, but I'm so happy about that. So it's working, I feel amazing. It is 10.30 this morning. It is 10.30 right now and I still feel really, really good and not hungry, haven't had my coffee or anything yet, but just wanted to let you guys know about my weigh-in. All right, you guys, it is almost 12.30 and I am going to have my first shake of the day. I finished my collagen coffee. I actually ended up putting a half of a scoop of this, this cinnamon, of the cinnamon toast in it and it was really, really good, but it is very, very sweet. So I like my coffee sweet, but if you guys don't like your coffee sweet, then I'd probably stick with the caramel or the chocolate, but really, really good. And yeah, just a half a scoop and it was absolutely perfect. So I am going to have my first shake of the day. Like I said, it is 12.30 and yeah, I will catch up with you at supper time when I have my second shake of the day. I am home from work. Welcome home. <laughs> And I'm going to have my second shake. Yay! <laughs> Jimmy, what's with the commentary? I'm going to have my second shake today. Yay! <laughs> and then I also bought a uh, diet raspberry ginger ale. Mm, sounds delicious. <laughs> and I'm going to have that later on tonight. But right now I'm going to have my second shake. Yay! And then we will see all of you tomorrow. All right, good morning, you guys. It is Friday morning, day five, and I am up bright and early. It is just a little after, or a little before 6 a.m., or sorry, 7 a.m., and I work today. I actually work both of my jobs today. So I work from 7 to 12 and then I work from 2 till 8.30. So I am up bright and early today and have a full day, which I'm glad I'm feeling like good because that's the worst when I wake up on Fridays and I have to work my double. But we're going to check our ketones this morning. and see where we're at on day five. All right, point six for my ketones. And let's check our glucose. Oh, that one didn't work. All right, let's try this again. So 84, so let's see, I might be still in low ketosis. I will print it up on the screen um, if I'm in low ketosis or medium ketosis. All right, good morning, you guys. It is a little bit before 7 a.m. I'm just about to head out the door, actually, but it is Friday morning, day five of the Keto Chow Challenge, and feeling good. I slept really, really good. I probably could have slept a little bit more just because I don't know it's early and i work a double today so it's gonna be a long day but i am actually going to take both of my shakes i'm gonna actually leave both of my shakes at home because i work until 12 so i won't be having my first shake until after then but i am going to have um a zero calorie bang energy drink this morning i have one in the fridge so i'm going to take it with me and i'm not going to have my coffee today um i just feel like i need a little bit of a pick me up like asap <laughs> just because it is early in the morning um so anyways you guys i am going to go to work so i will keep, catch up with you guys once i have my first keto chow also wanted to check in and also put my weight today you guys i was 144.
point, I think it was point six. Sorry, the dogs just woke up, so they are drinking their water and doing everything, but. All right, um, you guys, it is Thursday afternoon. It is 1.30, so I finished work at my first job. Now I'm going to my second job, which I start at two o'clock until 8.30 tonight. So I live about a half an hour outside of the city. Um, I mentioned that before. So on my drive in, I actually drank my first keto chow shake. It was really, really good today, I don't know but it was, it tasted amazing. And so I brought my other shake with me and I will put it in the fridge at work and have it on my supper break. I usually have my supper around five o'clock when I work this shift, so that will be perfect. But feeling amazing, still feeling really, really good. So such a good sign, like, I don't know, it feels, even though like I'm on maintenance and I struggle sometimes like with what I eat and to stay in ketosis, but when I do stay, when I do get into ketosis, I feel amazing like so so good I wish I felt like this every day without like you know like I've been saying now that I'm in maintenance I have a little bit more treats things with sugar alcohol so I don't always stay in ketosis but when I'm there I'm telling you it it feels amazing so anyways I'm just getting a car wash it is so nice here like it is 15 degrees Celsius here in southern Alberta and it feels like spring there's so many people out and about there I've even seen motorcycles I've seen um, mopeds like everybody is out and about people are walking more cars than usual everywhere everybody's out and about so it feels really good um, more than likely though here in southern Alberta in Canada we will get a couple more bouts of snow that's just how it works we don't get full-fledged spring until like May <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately um, but yeah it's really really nice out today it's so nice um, so anyways I'm just getting a car wash because it's been a while since I've had a car wash so I dropped off our taxes um, I like to get them in early just before it gets really really busy um, towards the middle of March I like to get them done as soon as I have all my t4s and everything in order so I dropped those off and getting a car wash and then I will head to work so I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that I had my first shake so I will try to video my um, when I have my second shake of the day my second shake of the day and um, yeah, but actually nothing really to report other than that it's really, really nice weather and, and feels like spring, but it, it's really not. We won't be, see spring for a while. So anyways, you guys, I will catch up with you in the next clip. As it is, I took my break early today or they had me scheduled for my break early. So um, it is a quarter after four and I'm going to have my second shake. I'm not hungry, but... Um, it's my only break that I get. The other break that I get is 10 minutes. So I'd rather have it now and then try to chug it down in my 10 minute. So I'm going to have it now. And that is going to be my final shake of the day. And yeah, tomorrow, let's see, tomorrow. Oh, I wanted to give you guys a little update on that actually, because um, tomorrow is tomorrow is Saturday. And me and Jimmy, my husband, are going out for wings tomorrow night. So what I plan on doing, because I was going to do this challenge for seven days, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one meal tomorrow and it's going to be chicken wings. And I'm not going to have, um, I'm not going to have my keto chow shake at all tomorrow. So that is the plan because you know, I've done it so many times where I've actually given up like going out on a date night and going out to eat and I'm, I vowed that I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm going to take this opportunity and it just works out and we wanted to have a date night. I'm off of work and he's off on weekends. So we just wanted to go out and have a little date night now that restaurants have reopened probably about, I would say a couple weeks now, maybe even a month. Um, the restaurants have reopened for dine-in again here in Southern Alberta in Canada. So um, I'm just going to take the advantage and go out and eat some wings so I will hopefully remember to vlog it tomorrow and show you guys what I am getting but I am going to be doing that tomorrow and then I am going to have my two shakes on Sunday to finish out the week to have the full seven days to let you guys know that tomorrow on Saturday I am going off plan and I'm just going to have wings for the one meal um for the day I'm so I'm gonna do an OMAD that day so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up so I will film that and then yeah then you guys will see me on Sunday and that'll be my last day of this keto chow keto chow challenge I've actually really enjoyed it I must say 
the first day I was kind of like leery about it for having the same thing um, and like being on like a, a liquid diet, if you want to call it, for seven days. But I feel really good and I'm so glad that I did this. I'm so glad that I did this challenge and stuck with it, to be honest. And I feel amazing. Um, so I'm ready to hop back on that keto um, train and my plan is I will probably talk about this more on Sunday but my plan is to have two days I think I'm going to do the Monday and Tuesday of doing one shake per day so I'll have one normal keto meal and then the other meal is going to be a keto chow shake just to kind of ease my way into eating again like eating meals um, but yeah I'm so excited and I am so proud of myself for getting this far and I know that I can stick it out because I've already this is you know day five so I'm really really excited and so hopefully I encourage you guys um if you don't want to do the seven days just even do like a two or three days like I have mentioned about fasting and if you guys seen my last vlog I actually collabed with Christina I will link her channel down below but her if you if the link doesn't work because sometimes I know YouTube is funny with the links um but her YouTube name is Christina Fast, all small case letters and all one word. And she does a lot of fasting challenges. And I highly recommend that you guys do a fast. And even if you can't do a fast over a long period of time, like this is the long, I wouldn't even call this a fast, but it, it is. Um, but this is the longest that I've ever gone for a fast. Usually my fasts are like three days. Um, I've done an egg fast and I've done a wing fast. And this is my first keto chow. Uh, fast that I only have keto chow um, throughout the week but I'm so happy I did it I encourage you guys like maybe once a month or once every three months to do a fast it really helps your body process everything and there's just tons of benefits you guys google it and look it up and see if it's okay I know a lot of people can't because they feel like they're gonna binge maybe afterwards but I do not feel that way 100% I actually feel the opposite from when I was off and on that's when I felt like binging and that's when I felt like eating really bad but now that I've done this fast I feel amazing I feel like getting back on track and I know that I will have no problems once Monday comes around to get back on track because I feel good and I want to continue feeling good and um yeah, I think it's just going to be awesome. So anyways, you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow because I'm not doing anything exciting for the rest of the day. I am just working. So I will see you guys tomorrow.